Happy St. Andrew's Day. Or Andrew's Day. The patron saint of Scotland. Uh, this is the end of my segment on, you know, November. What do I eat? What have I been eating? You notice I don't eat a lot. I mean, I eat a lot, but not many times during the day. Um, I hope I have a pretty interesting variety. I mean, for me, it's, it's enough. Chicken wings every day. I love chicken wings. So that's not a problem. Um, so next month, I'm going to get into some other segments. <coughs> And uh, I like to do these videos kind of pretty much right when I wake up because if I don't, uh, it'll get uh, you know too noisy and too much going on. But uh, so here I woke up about uh, five zero minutes ago, about fifty minutes ago, uh, morning routine, and uh, getting ready to make my coffee. Learned some really cool stuff about turmeric. Yeah, so in my coffee, I, I use about a. A dime to a nickel size in my cup of turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, and cocoa. Uh, obviously, 100% pure. And uh, that goes into my first cup and then my second cup. That's just a regular cup of coffee. So, uh, turmeric does uh, apparently some wonders with uh, autophagy. Go ahead and look that up. Or autophagy, like the British would say. Um, <clears throat> and it's another beautiful day. It's about, uh, I think it's 64 degrees in my house right now. But still, t shirt, shorts, flip flops. I don't care. And I don't teach this morning, but I do teach in the afternoon. And uh, what am I going to eat today? Well, we did buy some Costco hot dogs. And I checked the wrapper. Obviously, the carbs are super low. I may make. Uh, Kind of two of those, I'll, I'll probably break them in half and make a little raft out of them, over which I'll probably put, uh, I'll doctor up what I made yesterday, the stroganoff, but I'll, I'll add some of what most people would think is like a Mexican chili seasoning, um, almost like a uh, taco seasoning. Did you get that? I, I didn't edit this, I just said taco. Um, <laughs> I'm really good at that. Anyway, so I'm uh, not kidding. That I did that too. <laughs> ketones. I love ketones. So I only ate once yesterday. Didn't eat Sena. Won't eat breakfast. I did have a salad. It was pretty good. And we have leftover lettuce, so I'll probably just go ahead and knock out another salad made with avocado. I do love... Uh, the gorgonzola cheese on it's really good. I had extra apple cider vinegar, I had olive oil, I had a bunch of you know extra stuff. <clears throat> and then that meat coction should be enough. I have some leftover chicharrones. So if, uh, if I'm still hungry, I'll, I'll munch on that. I mean, there's, there's times when I wish I were hungry at Sena because you know, I kind of like to eat a little something, watch the TV, but... When you're not hungry, you're not hungry. <laughs> I mean, it's not like a dopamine thing. It's not like, oh, I must have it. <laughs> um, really, when, when you're not hungry, you just don't feel like eating. So you don't eat. Um, so uh, I will let you in on a little secret. Tomorrow is day 200 on... Uh, on my journey of keto started May 15th <clears throat> that's the day I'm that's the day I'm I'm sticking there uh, that's when my videos pretty much see I got started flim flam this and that had a, had kind of a, a rough beginning uh, which I do not want to repeat so I'm not going to go back and then pretend to go back uh, that is I'm not going to go back to eating grains and seed oils and and sugar and then pretending to want to go back through that process. I kind of feel like, um, I don't know if you guys ever saw Somewhere in Time, very old movie. Well, for you guys, for me, it was like not that long at all. Uh, I believe Jane Seymour was in it. Christopher Reeves was in it. And uh, he um, has, uh, he goes back in time. Uh, 
to somehow, I mean, he, he knows he was there, and he goes back in time, meets a girl, they fall in love, blah, blah, blah. Then he pulls a penny out of his, out of his little coin holder. Blah, looks, he sees the penny, 1976, and boom, he goes back. And he can't get back into the past now. Uh, that's kind of how I feel. I mean, I, I have this feeling if I go back into the sugar and the nonsense, um, it'll, it'll be so hard to come back. By the way, in that movie, Somewhere in Time, if you watch it well, and a friend of mine, Michael, told me about this a long time ago. I don't know where he got it, but I've had it ever since. Who was the original owner of the watch? Okay, little little kind of fun thing for you to, if you want to go watch it again. Who's the original owner of the watch? Um, I have a theory, obviously, but uh, I'll let you guys figure it out really almost had this movie almost had my video to a conclusion and then ding dong somebody loves me that's not a bad thing okay guys um so you know what i'm gonna eat today um and just a side note i'm five days away from 500 days in a row learning french it's kind of fun all right i'll talk to you guys later bye